Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Nova and welcome to Tales of Majael. This is a uh, this is a game that I've been playing a little bit of recently. Um, not a lot, but a little bit. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Um, it's not something I'm terribly good at, but it is a game that I uh, enjoy a lot. Gotta turn the audio up a little bit here. Um, just, I don't know, just there's not a lot of game audio, so I figure I'll turn up what's here. Oh no, oh god. Go away. Oh god. Okay. Um, as you can see, I did a little bit of a trial run of the build I'm going to be doing here in a second if it will load. This game does do a tremendous job of taking a minute to load. But as you can see here, I got up to level 9 on normal adventure, which is kind of the default. Um, I do have some of the cosmetic items on. That's what some of these cosmetic pumpkin, cosmetic dwarf, cosmetic pyro. That's kind of what some of this item set is here. Um, we're not going to be playing that one. We're going to be doing the same kind of build. We're going to be doing a dwarf bulwark, um, but we are going to be uh, starting a new character. I'm not good at this game, I'll be honest. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's fun. If it matters, um, I'm not using any... Uh, I'm not using any DLC, or I mean, I'm using DLC, but I'm not using any add-ons that aren't um, purchasable from the... Tales of Majel website, which means it's all, uh, we'll go ahead and load our pre-made, pre-made, we'll do that. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll rename them. Uh, okay, I guess it's not going to let me, so we'll do a dwarf, we'll do a bulwark. I did unlock, uh, what did I unlock? Some kind of a new class. Is it, yeah, I unlocked Cursed, um, which is interesting i'm not going to do it but uh create or follow the cursor some dark design pay for their sins their only master is hatred drawing strength of the curse of death okay so basically they're just strong and fucking insane got it but yeah i just unlocked that earlier we're going to go ahead and do the bulwark which is um which is weapon and shield um basically it's a really high defense class and i feel like pairing that with a dwarf would be a pretty good way to go i'm going to do uh just just a normal you can also do exploration mode which gives you infinite lives um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a uh, I'm gonna do adventure for the first run through we're gonna have to rename the character because um, if you right click if you get this game yourself um, if you right click it uh, it will randomly generate a name so we're gonna go ahead and just do uh, that seems fine and Anthile, Antheal, however you want to say that. Looks good to me. Uh, we can go ahead and customize our character a little bit. Uh, we did get some kind of a... Um, what was it? I thought we got some kind of a special... Um, I don't know. It said we got something special for the dwarf. Um, maybe I missed it. Um... So there was some kind of a specialty for the females, some kind of a special, you can make dwarves with a special whatever, uh, I don't see anything special, oh wait, is this, yeah, that wasn't there before, so that's new, uh, maybe it was a tattoo, I don't know, uh, I am going to put on the tattoo set one, because I think it looks cool. And we're going to go ahead and put just a regular skin tone on our character. And we'll do, um, we'll do this dark hair. Looks good. Looks dwarfy to me. And we're just going to go ahead and roll with that. Um, I'm going to try, I'm not going to use any of the cosmetics on this character. Because I feel like a lot of the fun is being able to see kind of how that character looks through play. Um. Looks like the skill points have already been set up for us, which is a little bit annoying, I'll be honest. Um, I'm not sure why it did that, but okay. Interesting. Okay, neat. Got it. It's not going to let us level up anyways. Okay. You are a member of the proud but secretive race of dwarves. Hailing from the Dwarven Empire, the Iron Throne, you were sent to investigate Old Fortress of Reknor, which has been overrun by orcs. 
I'm going to turn it down a little bit on my end. Okay, good to know that that volume control doesn't do jack shit when headphones are plugged in. Got it. Um, upon arriving there, most of your team got killed. Now you must crawl back to the Iron Castle to report what you saw. Only you and Norgan, a fellow orc berserker, have survived, but the orcs will not let you go easily. You've sworn that once you reach the Iron Council safely, you will take on a life of adventure, looking for fame and treasures of old, away from all those orcs. Also, I am going to be, uh... Wait. What the fuck happened to her hair? Okay. Interesting. I thought I chose a different hair type than that. She seems to be bald. That won't matter as soon as we get a hat on, but whatever. Um, I am going to be reading a lot of the lore stuff, unless you guys would rather me not. Um, I mean, I guess if I do in level one, or rather video one, then uh, I will change that going forward. Um, also, I do play with the mouse, so forgive me, you will hear a lot of clicking. Um, I've tried playing it with the number pad, and it's just really not my style. I find that, you know, since there's little menus like this that pop up with the mouse, it just makes sense for me to kind of be using the mouse anyways. Um, we're going to go ahead and reorganize that a little bit. That'll be more important as you kind of get... As we kind of get going, um, if you press the Z key on the keyboard, if you're wondering, you will do auto explore, which I do think is something that will be used a lot. Uh, we can go ahead and shield pummel this guy and continue on our journey. Uh, a lot of this is pretty fast paced, especially if you use the auto, auto explore, which I tend to. Um, whoops, why am I doing this right there? Um, and again, normally I use the hotkeys for those, but um, I'm still kind of, you know, new character trying to get it set up the way I want it. Um, it always is a little bit of a, a process. Um, we'll go ahead and put on the leather gloves because it's all we have. Put on the leather boots because it's all that we have. Um, marksman's copper ring, uh, either uh, might as well. We don't have another ring, so I don't see why not. And I'm not going to use a dagger, so I don't care. If you're wondering why it's green, and it says this item will be automatically transmogrified, you get the tr transmogrification chest. I don't remember if it's part of one of the DLCs or where exactly it came from, but basically any items that you don't decide to keep will be uh, transmogrified and essentially turned into gold at the end of every level of a dungeon or whenever you leave a ruin or wherever. Um, which is pretty cool. What is this? Um, teleportation rune. For now, I guess we'll use it. Or we'll at least hold on to it and give it a peek. Um, we'll go back to here and we'll use it. Um, actually, no. We'll, we'll just transmogrify it, I think, later. Um, teleportation is really handy. I would get rid of wild if we had blink. Because I do think blink is a very worthwhile skill and something that i mean wild is good don't get me wrong i like wild a lot but i feel like um i feel like having a blink kind of an out is in my experience with my other couple characters i've played i haven't beaten this game yet but i have done a couple run throughs where i've gotten you know seven or eight levels deep um or, you know, I've gotten to the point where I've seen some of the end game, not with a, not with a dwarf, but with a different character, rather. Um, I've gotten, I mean, level 10, I think, is the highest I've gotten. Um, so my other character is not far off, but that other character was kind of power leveled weird, so that was something. Um, that's not any better. Uh, the linen cloak, we might as well wear it. And we'll go ahead and just transmogrify that so it doesn't take up an inventory slot. And then we will continue on to the next level. So basically it brings up this pop-up that's like any items you don't take. Now it's kind of your last chance to look at any items you have. Um, so that's actually better. We will go ahead and wear that. And then we will go ahead and transmogrify the other armor. And we'll get going. Um, but yeah, again, hopefully the mouse doesn't bug anybody because I do use the mouse most of the time when I'm playing. That's just how I'm comfortable playing. Hopefully it's not a big deal. Um, I know for some people they're like, oh my God, I can hear the mouse clicking. Um, but I don't know. There's not a lot of videos on this game, especially not from people that aren't 
fucking roguelike masters, which, you know, no fault of their own. Good job being good at these kind of games and, you know, whatever. I'm not going to fault you for being good at a game you play, but, you know, I guess, in my opinion, I think it's good to uh, see, you know, a little bit of both sides of the coin. Also, we do need to level up. I didn't do that. We're going to go ahead and just crank strength for now so that we can get that armor buff because as soon as you get to three you can start wearing massive armor which is incredibly useful um whoops okay can i yes i accept changes okay also where is my um i'll do talents um where the hell is shield wall where is shield wall and why isn't it on my hotbar? Um, where the fuck? How do I pull up my fucking... Wow, that's a problem I've never had before. Most of the time it kind of autofills your talents. Can't believe I have to look this up. I'm sorry. Um, is there a toggle list of seen creatures? Screenshot. Um, items. My card image. Da, 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 da. Where is... What? There's not just a button for uh, displaying your fucking. Okay, that seems dumb. Hmm, that's irritating. Cause it's if you go to my talents, there's. Do I have to go to my character? No. No, I'd like to see it. I'd like to see my... Where do I see that? That's never happened. I'm gonna... Oh. Okay, that's one way to do it. Apparently, if I make it full screen, it resizes the... Uh, resizes the menu, and that's how you can see it. Okay, so... I guess I'll go ahead and just play it full screen. I had it in a window so I could monitor the recording at the same time, but apparently that's not how it likes to do this. Um, so here we go. Now we can toggle our shield wall ability, which is our kind of main ability here. I wonder if, I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with it now, but that is something I guess to note is if you adjust the window size after you set up the UI in a certain window, it does kind of mess up the window size. Um, there's not a way to view more. I don't know. I don't know. I know there's a way to like expand your hot bar too, but let me check what that is. Um, Cause there'd be a hot. Isn't there a way to like Next hockey page, yeah. So it's page up, page down is how you do that. Okay. So then if I did put it back to the other side, I could just do this. Interesting. So then could you take this and... Yeah, there you go. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... It's cool that we know where it is now. Anyways, we'll resize it. Sorry, that's probably fucking weird on your end. Um, again, I'm just glad that I know how that works now and why that's doing what it's doing. Because that's really all I wanted it to do. 
was, you know, just kind of show me what it's up to. Um, we do have other leather gloves. They are not any better, so we're not going to go out of our way to keep them. Okay, he's got that. Luckily, this guy, uh, Norgan, or Morgan, Norgan, yeah, he's level four already, and we are level two. So he starts off a little bit stronger. Um, plus, you know, just having a, a teammate at the beginning, um, it does lend itself to giving you a little bit stronger enemies than I think a lot of people would have. So that's kind of a cool, you know, I feel like you level a little quicker as a dwarf from just a little bit I played earlier. Um, just because of... Uh, So that also gives acid resistance. That's really the only difference, is it just gives you acid resistance. We'll go ahead and wear that, because why the hell wouldn't you wear that? Um, leather, leather boots, those are the same. The tireless, it literally changes nothing. And cool, so now we have uh, kind of cooler looking like plate armor. Um, see if I can get some of these menus out of the way. We've got some plate armor here. It's kind of cool looking. Um, so, I mean, that's that's a bonus. We're already rocking plate. I feel like, you know, as a bulwark, as kind of a defense class, probably the quicker that you can get to... Um, the quicker that you can get to some bulky armor, the better, because your whole class is based around just being a fucking tank. Go ahead and we'll finish exploring the whole level, get as much XP as we can. So we're almost at level three, which would be great if we could get to level three before the next level. Traveler's Rough Boots. We'll go ahead and we'll do the uh, Traveler's boots because I think being able to carry more would probably be more important than Did that put that on? Yeah, rough traveler boots um, and oh, Blink around Ooh. I actually want to look at that really quickly Also, we leveled up, but let's go ahead and we'll take this rune here and I'm gonna replace that with the wild rune just out of personal preference, I find being able to teleport is very useful for just kind of getting out of snags. So we'll go ahead and level up. Um, and we will go ahead and just crank strength as much as we can. We want to try and get the shield wall maxed as quickly as possible. And the only thing we can do is up our weapon mastery a little bit, which is pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and we will confirm those. And off we go. Okay, so this motherfucker is gonna cause some problems. We wanna shield bash him and block him so we can get a counter on him. And I guess we'll just keep hitting him for now. See what can be done. He's already dead, so that's very cool. Part of a group of door, okay, so we... Most of your team's killed. Okay, hurry back to the council. So we did that. Okay, let me take steam really quick and put it in do not disturb. Sorry about the pop-ups. Um, we will go ahead and we'll get that out of your way. Sorry about that. Um, what's... Scourge of Ornate Trident was wielded by Lady Navasha. When you hold it, you can faintly hear the rush of a river. Found the Rod of Recall. You can use it to quickly get out of the current zone and return to the world map. Rod made entirely of... Voratune, infused with raw magical energy that can bend space itself. You've heard of such items before. They're very useful to adventurers, allowing faster travel. Essentially, what that rod does, which is already tied to over here from my other character, um, essentially, um, once every 40 turns, you can cast it, and then after probably... It says 40 turns... I'm not sure what that means. It doesn't seem like that long. Um, but maybe it is. I don't know. What do I know? Acid splash? What? Okay. Well, anyways. Essentially, it's kind of a fast travel thing. Um, we will go ahead and we'll do... 
Riviera's Fury, what is that? Oh, that's the Trident they were talking about. Okay, we'll see if we have a better weapon to replace our shield. Or... So I do want to keep the pickaxe. And we'll take the insulating amulet. None of those are any better than what we have. We will take the totem, which I will explain in a moment. So we'll go ahead and wear it. Um, again, we don't really have a better one-handed weapon than our longsword as of yet. So we're just going to go ahead and let those go. And we can transmogrify our other armor. Wait, that's worse? Well, uh, it does give us acid damage. It gives us fatigue. It's only two armor better, and it does give us lightning resistance. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I think that in the long run, that's going to be worth it. And we can go ahead and transmogrify this. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We already went through all these. Um, yeah, I mean, they do a little bit. Well, lightning strike from the target to a second target. Actually, yeah, we'll try that, I think. Because upon looking at it a little more, it does have a chance for a lightning to hit multiple targets. It was only point, what was it, point two six or something? Or like point six, yeah, point five and point seven difference from our normal one. Plus, it has the lightning thing. Crit chance is a little lower, but nothing else is really any different. Uh, we'll go ahead and just transmogrify that. And out we go. Okay, and basically, this is saying you've completed this quest. Into the Darkness, which is the next one that's going to prompt. It's just saying time to explore places and try to... Um, yeah, just time to kind of explore around and try other dungeons. And then what we're going to do next is uh, the Iron Throne, or the, the Deep Below, or whatever. The, the Yeah, the Deep Below. Um, that's kind of the first quest that it wants you to do in uh it's kind of the first quest that i guess it wants the dwarves to do um which i can show you here in a moment we've already sold all of our stuff so we'll go ahead and just kind of go uh, i don't see a reason to just kick around and what this does this totem that i told you i would explain um essentially it it spawns can we use this thing in enemy? Okay, so this does not do what the other one did. The last one I had, it made a tentacle enemy. But this one, uh, it does 160 nature damage over 70 turns and reduces their ability to heal. Okay, interesting. So let's give that a shot. We'll click on this and we will click on this motherfucker. And now he's essentially poisoned and taking a bunch of damage and he can't be healed. So very cool. Also, as you can see, that like this thing's already kind of paying off on the lightning damage front. It already seems to be doing its jam. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just step up. Oh god, there's a lot of boys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to shield bash. We're going to block. And then we're going to... Yeah, there we go. Try and kind of focus them a little bit. I don't want to get completely surrounded. That's kind of my worry here. Though this lightning is really helping with a big group like this, so that is definitely good. We're going to go ahead and zap somebody. We will shield bash. Get a block. Looks like it got, I don't know who it got, but somebody was got. Um, we can blink out of here, which is kind of helpful in a situation like this to get some distance. Kind of space ourselves a little bit. Already looks like that lightning is 
incredibly helpful. We'll go ahead and turn on our healing regeneration infusion again. Basically, it means I can focus one guy at a time and still get, like, kind of get shit done with all of them. Um, we did get cleansing iron plate, which is changes resistance. It gives us blight. It gives us nature. Um, 87 over five turns and that does 50. So we'll go ahead and we will use that. How do I know that that one does 50? Because that's the base uh, regeneration infusion. 100 life. Oh, never mind. Actually, I was wrong. Okay, well, that ain't the first time that's going to happen. Uh, we can just transmogrify that then. That one's difficult because, like, it's nature and blight, and that gives us plus 10 nature. Gives, so it gives us plus 10 nature. Blight doesn't change. We'll try it. Arcane abilities have been interfered with. Ale is torn. The forces are... react strongly. Arcane energies seek to manipulate them. Some items in the areas imbued with anti-magic and natural energy with... Even those who want to harness anti-magic, you hunt them down. So beware, cast. There is a hostile word of you wander. What? So, putting on this armor did a bet. Okay, I'm going to take it off. Got it. I'm going to just get rid of it. Oops. Okay, there. Hopefully, hopefully that gets whatever that was away. Because I'm not good enough to really know how to handle whatever I did. We'll shield bash this guy. We'll block. Cool. We got the big guy. Very cool. Um, new boots and some gloves. Very cool. Iron gauntlets. Um, Mm, no. So, armor doesn't change. It does give us a little less strength, it looks like. So, it doesn't get, it gets rid of our strength buff, but it gives us a magic buff. And otherwise, we're not as effective with it, so no. No, we're not going to do anything with that. Oh, good. A Granorvor. Lards look like a creature that moves slowly, leaving a trail of acid in its wake. Its head is strangely humanoid. Very cool. We'll go ahead and shield bash that guy and kill him, because fuck that. Mine stars are for side blades, so I don't need that. Ten days into initial site survey. Hmm. Recent travelers have opened up deep new chasm, but we must work cautiously to. In what? Oh, somebody died. Must work cautiously to insert sure they're stable before conducting major operations. Proceeding well at the start with support being put in place with no flammable gas detected. Some shared tool relics have been found. Perhaps great profit to be had. High mar margins in the Shalorian market, which means Shalorian is a type of elf. So I'm assuming this guy is probably an elf as well. Some miners say they feel ill. The Drem fools have likely been gorging too much meat. We'll deduct it from their pay. Okay. Um, what was, there was something I was just about to do, and I don't remember what it was. Um, also, fun fact, I can... No? What? Maybe I have to actually, hold on, change the video settings. Because I can't click on those. These buttons over here don't do anything. So we will go ahead and we'll change the video size. Whoops. Very professional. Very professional. 
There we go. Now I can actually click on these. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay. Um, oh shit. Okay. It does mean though. Really quickly, let's move these closer. Move them over here so I can see them. Oh shit. Okay, well that's fine. We'll move these to the range that they will be visible and then we can move it to the actual, there we go. I don't need to, I can remove that from hotkeys, yeah, okay. And we'll get the, this back. Okay, cool, now that the hockey thing is all set up, very cool, very good. Um, that means we can click on these, um, which means we can use, oh, apparently they've already been used. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, well, essentially there were two things that I guess get put on the server. Maybe they reset after one of my characters has beaten them. I don't know, but there's a thing called the Bearscape, and there's a thing called the Land of Posh or Poosh. It's like another kind of level 15 plus zone. I've got a level up. Okay. Um, we'll pump some constitution, I think, for a level. And we will go ahead and we'll get um, one of those. One of those and we'll max that, which is very cool. Um, we'll only get one. Um, we're going to go ahead and pump vitality because essentially you recover faster from poisons and diseases Which is incredible like later game from what I've been told um, And we will obviously we can't get all of these but power is money What? Physical mental there's any amount of money. Oh, that's cool And Neat. Okay. Um, anyways, basically, we're going to kind of... My idea is I really want to focus on the defense tree. Or the shield. At least now that that's maxed. Maybe get shield expertise and get that pumped. Um, but then we should probably start working on these a little bit. Um, but for now, I would like to focus on the... Uh, I'm trying to focus on the the defense because I think that would be a better move what oh good oh good um, we will go ahead and use the repulsion which hurts everybody and what oh cool we've been hit with dark shit from this guy I think that's what makes them anyways I don't know for sure I'm not I'm not super familiar yet with who does what. I believe it's those guys that make the uh, that make the black clouds or whatever. We'll stun him. We'll go ahead and shove him back a little bit, and we can block him, shield pummel him again, and crit him. Very cool. Okay, all that's left is the next level. Very cool. We'll go ahead and take a look through these. Psychic, magic, gauntlets. Uh, we already looked at that. Um, that's worse. All right. Cool, cool. Sorry, it's a little bit of a mess. It's my first time recording this game, and I didn't realize that... Uh, I didn't realize that changing the aspect ratio would fuck up my hotbar. I kind of figured it would scale it accordingly, but... I don't know, I'm also trying to figure out there's apparently a way that you can take this hotbar and make it one tile taller so you can have like two rows at the same time. I don't know how to do that, but it's something I'm looking into because I do think that would be very cool. I think it'd be very useful as well. Um, okay. Chasms go deep, more relics to be found. Will be might prop will be mighty profitable, but my secret treasure is even better. Gold, beautiful, lovely gold, buried deep, so deep, I've kept it hidden, sealed. So this guy's going crazy. 
Um, must stay focused. Much work to be done. Miners get rowdy. One of the Dreamfuls went mad and killed himself with a pickaxe. Must restore order. More sheer to full artif er, more sheer tool artifacts to be found. Possibly even remains of weapons. Imagine the profit. The fellow's blood was so red, spilling on the cavernous floor. I wonder where they bury him. My mouth. I want to taste. Okay. So, now he wants to eat people. Very cool. I mean, not real. Oh, cool. I don't know what that is, but we're going to bash it in the face. Okay. Um... Oh god, oh god, um, let's go over here, try and, okay, I thought we could catch it, okay, where did he go, okay, very cool, got him, whoa, there's a bunch of shit over here, um, can I, whoop, and stun him maybe, Okay, maybe I can catch one to catch both, maybe? No? Oh my god, this motherfucker just will not sit still. Come on. Okay, got him. Very cool. Hastle Shadow in the north. So this guy? Yeah. We'll do that. We will hit you. We can stun this guy block him zap okay cool we gotta level up um very cool for a class that isn't really um whoops a class that really isn't an attack powerhouse that we seem to be doing pretty damn good at i think Keep cranking strength so we can get bigger armor. Um, and we've only got one class point. I think we're going to upgrade our shield pummel again. And we'll do more... Uh, we'll do more combat accuracy. It just is an accuracy buff. I just think that's a good move. Make us more accurate. We won't miss as much. Seems like a, a good move to me. Um, we can repel some people. Okay. Come on. Okay, come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, very cool. And down to the third floor we go. Okay. Shatter afflictions. Activate the room to dissipate, instantly dissipate the energy from your ailments, cleansing all cross tier effects. One physical, one mental, one magic. Hmm. No, I'm not really feeling that. Rough leather boots. Yeah, we'll get rid of them. Okay, cool. So this is the mouth. This is what came of the other guy, from my understanding. And luckily, we, it seems like we can just kind of click this one dude and not really have too many problems. I should have been doing this, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Looks like he's not going to be too hard to kill. A huge tooth taken from the mouth and so if we read this last one my mouth it tastes it feels it's growing the others are changing flying screaming squelching warping bad for profit my teeth they grow they hunger I feel it in my dreams the dark depths my mouth wants to open to scream so basically he became a giant mouth which is very cool Shielding Rune of the Duelist. That might be up my alley. Flaming Iron Longsword. It doesn't seem like it does any 
fire damage though. Tooth of the mouth is a it's a pickaxe, oddly enough. Interesting. Okay, and that's activate to create a particular shield. 106 damage for four turns. It scales with dex. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep that. Go ahead and we'll just use the rod of recall and then just kind of hang out for a few turns until we can warp. And we will get the hell out of here. Okay, so very cool. We've got, uh, I don't see our money. We've got 97 gold. So let's see if that can buy us maybe a helmet of some kind, dagger, jewels, runes. Uh, mining tools, cloak, armor. Would it be an armor? Helm of Constitution for 50. Smack your forehead against the enemy's head or whatever sensitive part you can find causing 33 damage. If the attack hits. Sure, we don't have a helmet, so why not? We can go ahead and wear it. So now we've got a helmet, which is pretty cool. Apparently now we've got an ability called Skullcracker. Go ahead and put that. I try to kind of keep it so that like my attack stuff is over here. Um, we could also use the Mirror of Reflection, which lets us change. You know, I bought all of the... Uh, I bought all these... Um, you know, the, the skin packs or whatever. And any specialized named weapon that I have, I can make it look special. So we might as well make it look like Drake's Bane, just because it looks kind of fancy. But I don't want to do that too much. Because, um, like, yeah, now our axe looks a little beefier. If we open a menu, we can actually see that better. Now the axe looks a little bigger. But again, I really don't want to go too far into making everything look all spiffy and spending too much time on, you know, on that kind of stuff. Because I just don't think that it's needed. Is there not a way to the overworld? Because what I would like to do now, because we are level 7. Um, in fact, are we? Yeah. Keep cranking strength. We'll put uh, put another one into that, and for our generic point, I think we'll do more armor, bigger armor, more armor. So now we're level seven, like officially level seven, and we'll go ahead and start wandering around. I think until we find some. Minimum level ten. Rather not, minimum level 10. Oh, good. I don't want to fuck with those guys. I don't know who you are. Novice Mage, hello. What brings an apprentice mage into the wilds? My story is a sad one. I should not trouble with you with it. It's no trouble at all. Please tell me. I'm a novice mage, and if you might have noticed, my goal is to be accepted by the people of Anglin. Angle, Angle, Anglin? Who taught the secret to the arcane. The keepers of, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about them. In any case, I must collect many items and have already been looking for some arcades and infused artifact. You don't happen to have one, I imagine. Well, if you do, please tell me. So, collect an artifact, arcane powered item. So I don't have that, but if I have a magic, oops. So if I have a magic item, I just give it to him, basically. We'll go into the old forest here because this is a level seven zone and we are level seven. So kind of a cool way to, uh, I don't like the escort quests. 
Um, I'll try it, but I really hate these escort quests. Because it always ends up like this, where they get a space or two behind, and then suddenly it's me just waiting on them. Yep, and they die. That's always what ends up happening, every fucking time. Which, you know, I mean, of course, the fucking portal was right there, but what are you gonna do, I guess? Um, not a huge deal. You know, again, I've only completed those, like, one time ever. They don't give super great loot. I mean, they give good enough loot, but not, like, anything crazy that I'm going to die without. Um, so we'll go ahead and just kind of fight around. There's nothing really super spectacular. I mean, large white snakes, um, they're just big old snakes. Hornets, they're hornets. Giant ant is a large brown ant. Um, lore journal. Okay, from Darkwood Oakton. The sure toll. Who are they? Where did they come from? Where did they go? The mysteries surrounding the ancient race are almost infinite. What little scraps of information we have regarding them all allude to a mighty and world-spanning civilization. It was like power and magic unthinkable. All that remains of them is forgotten windswept ruins and tiniest mu minute, tiniest minute. I don't know. If that's the word. Their technology sealed away in the studies of reclusive sages. If a mystery not recall you. Have it does not call you to your curious nature as it does mine, gentle reader. A quest has drawn me to the old forest. What can be said about a place like the old forest? It's a forest and it's old. By its unimaginative monitor or moniker, you can guess how important this place is to the people of dirt. The only locals commonly venture under its boughs are novice alchemists in search of ingredients, plus the odd hunter with his sights set low. However, the story of the old forest now takes a more intriguing twist. Rumors are growing of trees roaming in the depths, moving as you or I would. Some even claim that they now possess a spark of sentience. The sure tool were rumored to hold the power of animism. Is that mere coincidence? Very cool. Okay, the white worm mass did multiply. I don't know if you saw that little pop-up. But uh, that was kind of an interesting... I don't know, it's kind of an interesting concept of like... Hey, basically these motherfuckers were known to be magic and they were like nature mages. Basically. They were like druids of sorts. Um, that was kind of their forte. And here we are with a forest that's rumored to have some druid-esque activities going on. So that's kind of cool. Something cool to think about. The thing I really like about this game is... Uh, you know, it's like, it's not a super, it's not like a super crazy, um, you know, the concept of dwarves and things like that aren't anything insane, um, but the concept of it being, um, ooh, that's better in almost every way. It doesn't do the lightning thing, but that's a special immune axe. It does armor penetration hate when firing critical mind attack uh, that's better too so basically which one of these is stronger would be that long sword by a long shot so we'll go ahead and we'll use that long sword 64 cursed leather armor brass lantern our brass lantern is just light it does a light radius of three um, arcane resource burn. Quick emerging from it. Can be carried by the hand of light radius. So it seems like it. It's the same deal, but it also does burn damage when we're hit. So sounds like a win to me. Oh good. Oh good. Um, 
I mean, if, if I read that correct, maybe I just put on a poisoned... Oh, God. Oh, good. Okay. We'll use both of our healing. We'll do a skull bash on you. We will do that to repulse them a little bit. Right, whoops, I'm not going to do that yet. We can stun this guy, block him. So we get a cool counterattack on him. Go kill the poison guy. Get a belt. I don't think we have a belt currently. We do not. So any belt is better than the no belt we have. And as that guy was talking about, sentient trees. So that's kind of cool. Journal page, same guy? Yeah. Chapter two, the ancient ruins. My inquiries have paid off. It took much searching, more arm twisting and cajoling once I had found my man, but a local lumberjack who, plot, who plies his trade in the old forest has divulged me of an amazing secret. He speaks of ruins within the forest, a location where the living trees seem to congregate in larger numbers. He would not speak much of the place, seemed to believe that it was cursed, but I did manage to squeeze out of him the appearance of the ruins, submerged in the middle of a great lake. There's no longer any doubt in my mind. They belong to the sure tool. Ah, oh, there's a big old fly. He's just vibing next to me. So there's some kind of a big ruin in the middle of a lake. Is that these? Huh? Hi. Oh. Hello. Over and see. Oops, oops, oops. What is happening there? Steel plate armor. Forbidden tome. Sort of Krug, a halfling separated from his tribes, which just survived a terrible war very long ago, rages on. So we got a forbidden tome. Impenetrable steel plate. It's better than ours, which we will wear. Steel War Axe that is better than ours. Um, reduces all damage taken by 23% for three turns. Scales with your strength, so that could be pretty beefy. Um, we would have to get rid of one of our healing things or our blink, which I'm not really feeling. But if we look at our equipment now, whoops, we do now have this very cool Arcing Dwarven Steel Axe of Phasing. It still does the cool lightning thing. It can do uh, penetration through shields. And we got our cold resistance armor, which is very cool. I think it's a bit of a look. Um, we can use that. An illustrated tome. Oh, that's. So there's a little guy hiding here, and then these things fighting. Okay. It's cold as night. You do not find anything during the day. Your fur pelt does not much keep you cold. Keep out the cold either. You're about to go out to the hunt when everyone else has warned you that you must not do it. The night is dangerous, and there appears to be strange lights in the sky. An ill omen, to say the least. Food has been hard to come by lately. Everyone is just as famished as you are. Oh. You are Grug, a halfling from outside. You must gather food or die outside the terrible war. The war has been incomprehensible. You weren't supposed to do that. Read the Forbidden Tome. Oh, good. That's what I get for reading cursed books. Eyeball of sorts. We did find a rabbit though, so that's something. Hmm. 
Not liking the look of that. This is an interesting thing, like stuck inside of a storybook. Looking up, you see something writhing. Oh, God. Poor Grug, all I wanted was food, but said he found death. Okay, so we we didn't die because Grug died. That's okay. Um, we can go ahead and transmogrify this. We'll get rid of the set, wait. Dig speed 12 turns, so that's much better. I think we'll keep the book for now. We'll get rid of the brass lantern. Can get rid of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of our steel longsword. I'm just trying to kind of clean out my inventory a little bit. Uh, we can go ahead and transmogrify those. Get some money out of them. I think. Anyways, um, that's the hope. But yeah, I feel like now we're a level 7, but we are packing some yeet. We're not uh, able to level up yet, but we're 92% of the way there, so we're getting close. 93%, 94%. We're getting pretty damn close. 95, so we're almost level 8. There we go. Try and get as much... I don't know. Try and get as much done as possible as far as... Just explode... Exploring? Not exploding. Exploring, rather. Is that another forbidden totem? No. Mirror image rune. Mystical rune that describes your body, granting an on-demand spell talent. Got it. What does that do? Activate a rune to create three images of yourself to taunt allies each turn and immediately after being summoned. Only one image can be created from enemy. Hmm, I think we'll give that a shot actually. We'll hold on to it at least. Because it does seem like an interesting thing to play around with. Maybe if we get more uh, rune slots to play with, perhaps later. Could be an interesting thing to, to play with. All items that I haven't used, sure, get rid of them. I don't really care. Escort the Defiler. I would rather not. Don't much care for escort quests. I guess we'll give it a shot. The mirror in... Uh, so if we use it, maximum number of inscriptions. If I assign talent points, one new slot up to five. We'll hold on to it for now. I think that's probably our best move. So just hold on to it and wait for now. Because I don't know. I don't know enough about, I don't know, my play style yet. I haven't determined what my play style is yet enough to really know for sure if that's something I want. Luckily we're pretty. We're doing pretty good. As far as just we're killing some vampires, we're killing some snakes, some bears it looks like. There was, yeah, I mean, I should have stopped and looked at the vampire. Okay. So, chapter three from this Darkwood guy. Does my title not tell you? Disaster, again disaster. True enough, the Shirtill ruins exist several hundred feet at the bottom of a mighty lake. The Lake of Nura, one of the largest in the old forest, has swallowed up my ruins into its murky depths. Hardly a strong swimmer, gentle reader, but even if I could swim like a naga-spawned beast, I cannot hope to explore the ruins sunken expanses before drowning. 
fear I must abandon my present expedition. The trees are paying closer attention to me, and I do not believe it is of the pleasant sort. So the uh, his ruins sunk, is what I gathered. He was at the ruins of whatever. Ooh. Oh, it's because it's behind a tree. I thought it was just gnarled. I was like, what the hell? Uh, let's see what we got here. A battle axe I don't care about. A copper ring of power, I might as well. It gives us physical power, spell power, and okay. Uh, a pair of iron boots. They lessen our encumbrance. They don't change our physical save. They do fatigue us a little bit. But they are a little beefier. Go ahead and we'll swap the shield. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll do the metal boots. Just cause. Metal boots are cool. I like metal boots. Luckily, a lot of, oh god. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh god. Oh good. Okay, we're gonna just blink out of here a little bit. See if we can... Oh shit. Oh shit. Into the darkness. Okay, quest updated. Explore the old forest and Pancras, the Wrath Root, or Wraith Root, or whatever. Persistent will during the age of Dusk, a rash of anti-magic activities took place in the Narco Kingdom. Citizens would turn on those with magical powers, burning them alive for the sake of the wood. Uh, when the authorities found the perpetrators that executed them and planted their heads on sticks, despite this, the citizenry continued to burn alive the enemies of nature. Unbeknownst to the authorities, the heads of the dead perpetrators continued to spread their message long after their deaths. Sake of wood appears to be one of those propped up and executed head. So with the will of the head propped up on it and holding it, you can hear his Zero. Ziggurat's message echo through your mind. Go ahead and skull bash this motherfucker. So I think holding on to those regeneration runes has been a bone. Oh god, oh no, oh shit. Let's see if I can funnel them down in here. If I can fight them one at a time. If I can get to a position where I can fight them one at a time, I think that would be my best bet here. Get them all in a line. So that I don't have to get swarmed. Because as we... Oh, cool. Got a character to level 10. Apparently, I've never done that before. Interesting. My last character was level 9, so I guess... Because I was wrong in saying I had a character that was level 10 at one point. Interesting. Well, oh god, we can level up a couple times. Oh, we got a category point. Cool. Okay, and we got another inscription slot. Go ahead and we'll learn, I think, we'll max that out. We will go ahead and we'll do shield expertise. And we will go ahead and we'll get another level in quick recovery for now. We'll boost our strength as much as we can. Uh, we'll actually boost our dex a couple. Maybe get our willpower up one, and then constitution. And we've got two points here, so we'll do thick skin. And we will do unflinching resolve. Okay, very cool. And now we gotta see if it, okay, it didn't put it off screen. Very cool. Um, whoops. Um, also, cool thing, you can come to this menu and you can just purchase more. Like, see, I've already got this. Bonus vault slots in this order. I think I already own this.
Interesting. Okay. Neat, neat. text okay um, anyways now we have a level 10 which is pretty cool um, I am still unsure we just got that new talent the uh, oh what the hell is this flash grit is that a shield We'll go ahead and we'll wear that. That's cool. It's like a lightning shield, I guess. Uh, I'm going to just mute my fucking phone because apparently people do not understand that I'm doing something. Um, persistent will, age of magic test. Uh, what is it? Oh, okay, you can... Use it to trick arcane motherfuckers to use their magic on other stuff. Neat. Kill some snakes. Very cool. Okay, come on. Let's get up in there. Kill a wolf. Kill some bees. More snakes. A lot of snakes here. Another journal page. Let's kill these guys and read the other journal page. Needs must. Before I continue, I must make one thing clear. I'm no great friend to mages. Some powers simply were not meant for mortal hands or minds. As history has taught us time and time again, from the sudden disappearance of the sure tool with the spell blaze, and the plagues brought us into wake magic. Is magic is want? Magic is want to cut. Is it that's supposed to be want? Magic basically magic will cause more harm than good. But I fear it is a necessity for my current task. During my stay in Dearth, a fellow traveler, I've come fast friends, often drinking together in the local tavern. I can't put my finger on it, but I believe him to be a mage. He has an unexplainable feeling of power surrounding him, not to mention a rather ostentatious hat. I wonder what his thoughts would be on the art of water breathing. So perhaps he's going to try to get a water breathing spell? That would be my bet. What in the name of God are these? Hold on. The headless round creature with stubby arms and legs, its body seems to be all teeth. Oh my God, that's not a good thing. Luckily, they're pretty easy to kill. Like they're not like a huge threat, at least yet. So that's interesting. I don't know why I'm walking normal speed. I do not want to touch that. Um, hostile snake to the south. A cool sword. And if you're wondering why I'm not using the two-handed weaponry, uh, if I was playing a berserker, I would. But since I'm not playing a berserker, I will not. Um, I do want to keep persistent will. It seems cool. Battle Axe of Paradox, Balanced Battle Axe, Steel Dagger, Great Sword, and nothing that I care about. Got it. More journal stuff. Okay. And we've done it. Um, what have I done? Churchill Fortress, one with a small gem that looks like a key. Okay. That seems to be hastily written and stained with water and blood. The key's here, but I never at the door. I was unprepared. Trees I could avoid, the water I could traverse, but beyond, horrors, tentacles, blazing lights that burned into my flesh devoured, shattered my mind. Worms, alive, walking tog, barely escaped. But my wounds are too, blood won't stop. I thought the sure tool wonderful, and I, in I was entranced, every facet of knowledge I could gain. But this, is this their legacy? Horrifying. All my dreams. Perhaps death is welcome now. If any come after I bid you, horrors, too much. If you were foolish enough, my only advice... Find a note with a tiny, faintly glowing letter, or a faintly glowing orb. It's just a key. So I got some kind of an orb. Oh wait, and I can actually uh, use this. 
go ahead and rest so that we can use that in the future. Uh, okay, we got some kind of a key. I'm assuming it's like a key item that we can't see that we have equipped. Also, is my character suddenly... Huh. Okay, so depending on the way you're walking, changes the... Uh, Okay, so we're on land. Um, okay, so we need to find a way in. Basically. Um, okay. I need to stop fucking drowning. Um, me, okay, okay, that's, oh god, oh good, oh good, god damn it, okay, well, um, ready to go back, okay, so luckily, I don't know where the counter is, but you do get a couple lives, um, for playing, okay, let's go into the fortress, Send to the submerged ruins. Well, it's extremely ancient, yet you feel power within this place. Okay, so am I still underwater? I am. Shit. So I need to just, oh good, oh good. How far can I get? Can I get to land? No, I can't, okay, cool. Dead again, nice. Losing all my lives trying to, I need to go back. Okay, let's get on the land. Just wait on the land for a minute, I guess. It not gonna let me just wait. Wait, am I not on the land? Was that not on the land? I thought that was on the land. Shit. Okay. Well, I don't know. Again, I don't know how to count how many lives I have. Is there a way to check? Uh, that sucks. Tab key to switch between tabs. Level 10, I believe I had three lives, I think. Again, I wish there was kind of a counter for that. Okay, but we've done that. So now we're level 10, we can go to different places. Um, honestly, I shouldn't have done that. That was my mistake. Oh God. We're already just getting our shit rocked by something. That's not great. I mean, that's fine. It's a roguelike. The fact that I get extra lives in general, I think, is a win. So I'm not really going to bitch about the idea that, oh, no, I died a couple times and I still get to play with the same character. Because, again, I was completely expecting to just be one and done. Oh, oh god, oh god. What did I do? A minotaur. Cool. Okay. We'll heal as much as possible and try to get the fuck out of here a little bit. Try to get them more on my terms. Hmm. 
Okay, this is going not great. Require a shield to use this talent. What happened to my shield? Heal up as quickly as possible. What happened to my shield that one turn? I don't get it. Lessons are off this week. My tutor has fallen ill, so I decided to sneak out and wander around in old mazed ruins nearby. I know I'll get in trouble if I'm caught, but as long as I, I'm back in a couple of days, no one will notice. Besides, I get bored cooped up in those mountains. I want some fun. It's a rather dirty place, though. I've come across a few bandits and snakes, but nothing threatening to a grade 3 mage. I remember hearing that this labyrinth used to be a prison to a halfling king, Ruptar, during the Age of Dusk. And that the lawlessness of time captives were sent to, with the lawlessness of the time captives were simply sent here to rot. Some say magical curse infected the place and turned them all into bull-like monsters that patrol the halls to this day. How exciting! So minotaurs are old, uh, old prisoners essentially. From the object, from an objective viewpoint, you would think that the spell hunt, you would think the spell hunt futile, but it was not so. You couldn't imagine the barbarism of the mage hunting mobs. They could all. They would abuse and persecute any they saw as eccentric, many of whom had no connection to magic at all. True mages would sometimes speak up in an act of altruism, just to stop the suffering of the innocent, but this only fueled the horde's anger. Other mages, those left forgiving, less forgiving, and given more to action, would attack the roving mobs, but as soon as they learnt, learnt to get any sufficient numbers, magic is not omnipotent. Ones I saw were set up by dozens, their conjured flames and bolts of energy Failing against the maddened crowd, they would only, they would often literally rip the mage limb from limb. It was horrific. Agolin, limb and I calls it. Ag Agolin. I've known, li lion eye. Lanile. Huh. Lananil. Lananil. I don't know how to say that for many years, but. But I know she lost many loved ones to the spell hunt, and she still holds true to her belief that one day we will be accepted once again. This is the course of the action she desires. I'll follow her without question. A gross mass of spinal matter hastily assembled into armor. I am burning. Can I rest for a moment? Okay, cool. I've been put. Oh, God. Why is there a glowing treasure chest? I don't trust it. Uh, okay. That could have gone worse. All things considered. Iron mail, some steel plate armor. Um. Final cage armor, steel plate armor is worse than mine. That's worse than mine. I don't need that. Very cool. Okay, interesting. Luckily, nothing in here is too terribly difficult. Not to say that it's nothing. Biting Gale Force Rune? I don't have enough spell slots to really want to use that yet. More steel armor? Plate armor spell shielding. Oh god. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is already coming in handy, though I probably would have blinked if that wasn't an option. Oh, oh god. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay. We will skull bash somebody can shield stun somebody, we can block and get a crit counter on somebody.
take out this ooze. Again, luckily, I think we're a little... Yeah, go for it. Okay, oh god, what is the gelatinous cube? Oh no. Zap that guy. Doesn't do anything, but that's cool, I guess. Use the repulsion. We can block something. We got some gloves. That's cool. Uh, hardened leather gloves are worse in every way. Very cool. And stun that guy, get a good block on him, and off we go. God, this place just never ends, does it? Sure. We can use that repulsion. We can make those, so that at least we're not getting hit. Iron pickaxe, some leather armor. Oh, what is, oh, a spitting spider. Why is, what is that? Ugh. Oh, I hate that look. Oh, I don't like that. I just don't like spiders though, to be fair. So that's not the game's fault, I don't think. Oh, cool ants. We've got to level up. Slick. Okay, we can do more strength. Max out our armor. Um, we can do, I think, well, we already did that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do more life regen. We'll do another one of those. That's going to be our level. I mean, as it sits, we're sitting okay. We're not doing excellent, but we're doing pretty decent, I think. We're deeper into the maze. Um, hmm. I don't have anything to do with these. Sliding iron helms, final cage. None of that armor is any better. Soldier's iron pickaxe. We'll just get rid of it. We just made a shit ton of money though. We can go ahead and stun that guy. Go ahead and rest up as much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Minotaur of the Labyrinth. Oh god. Oh cool. Love that. We can stun that guy. Hopefully. Okay, I think if we play our cards right, we can beat this dude. We can stun him again. We'll get a block and a crit on him. We'll go ahead and get our regen going. Okay, we've beaten the Minotaur of the Labyrinth. We'll blink it to the other side of this guy. Maybe throw him off a little bit. Now let's see what we got. Steel War Axe, actually not that good. Do we have any kind of a... Hundred and sixty-eight damage. Go ahead and we'll wear that instead of the other thing. Steel Great Maul. It's a two-handed weapon, but I think we're going to pass. Um, we can go ahead and try this on that guy. Wow, that almost killed him in one shot. That wasn't bad. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. Sure. Oh, it actually just worked. Interesting. Okay, cool.
Lord Dagger, I'm having so much fun. Prob probability travel is making this little trip a breeze. You should have seen the, from that bandit's face when it came out one wall, disappeared through another, and came up behind him. Let's so remember the Archmage's lecture about the spell. Probability effects can be avoided for ease of use, but beware relying on them. With ease of use comes ease of mind and weakening of one's will and concentration. Soon oneself will find risk of merit or find risk bef befret normal judgment of danger as well as a mental resource to save oneself. Heed thee well. Wow, what tosh. How dumb does he really think I am? Besides, I'm enjoying myself. I saw something. I don't know what it was, but it was big and shadowy. I tried chasing it. it got, I got lost. Maybe I just imagined it? I'm not sure. Something cool and exciting. I just have to keep exploring. That's a big boy Minotaur. So we'll stun him. Uh, we'll get a block for a crit on him. We'll, uh, bow. Good, what is that? We can, um... Shield pummel him again. Get a block on him. Very cool. Balance seal great mall of crippling. Battle axe of erosion. I don't really care. I mean, I know it's stronger, but that's two handed stuff. No different at all. Is that a fucking ninja? Is that Tyler Ninja Blevins? Um, get fucking wrecked, bro. Okay, very cool. I will change teleporting circle to the surface. Oops, okay. And uh, is that any better than our? Reduce all damage taken by 21%. Let's just put it in our normal inventory. It's a big healing thing, but I don't really care. Um, okay, so let's see. That does 21% damage. It's a regen, okay. I don't have a wild anymore, okay. Ruins of, sure. We'll go ahead and try these ruins. They're for humans. If you play a human, then that's Escort the Lost Warrior. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't really care. Where did he go already? Where did this motherfucker go? This is the problem. Something to the south. Okay. See if I can actually win one of these. Oops, I missed a lore thing. Okay. Where are you going? Oh my god, come back. You dumb motherfucker. Hey, I did it. Okay. Okay, so I actually did it. I, I won. Okay, improve strength by plus five. Let's do the strength plus five. Damn, does that Zemeckis? Damn, is insane experiments. Why in the blackest night did I ever agree to take part in them? Oh yeah, because I was broke. That is a mood. I think I might have considered things differently had I known I'd be transported without my clothes, though. Imagine my embarrassment turning up in a foreign land with my 
unmentionables on display. Thankfully, I managed to borrow a robe from a friendly farmer. Did some work for him, earned some gold and a bit of food, a journal, and a rusty sword. I heard there were ruins filled with undead nearby. I knew my calling had come, so here I am, mighty son Palamid Telthar, to prove my strength to the foreign lands of the West. All I found are rats. I hate rats. Luckily, I'm pretty fucking strong, so, like, this is a level one dungeon, and I am well beyond level one. Let's go ahead and see what our level up did. See, we have a shit ton of strength now, so that's very cool. Go ahead and crank that up. Uh, we'll try the last stand perk, just to see what it is, and... Um, we'll actually do some more constitution and dex, actually. Whoops, 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 I clicked that side of the window. Yes, okay. So now we have this tower ability. We can move this. Trying to kind of keep this sorted in a way that makes sense to me. Okay, so last stand. Brace yourself for a final stand, increasing defense and armor by two. Maximum and current life by 92. Are you unable to move? Let's you concentrate on every blow, allowing you to avoid death from normally fatal wounds. You can only die when reaching negative 92 life. Last stand ends, it will be set to 1. Increase in defense and armor based on your dexterity, and increase in life based on your constitution and normal maximum life. So we do M to config. Wait, so if we did. Um, Hmm. Auto use when enemies are visible and adjacent. Sure. So basically, if, yeah. So if somebody's right next to me, it will just, uh. Actually, I'm gonna turn that off. Um. Yeah, request confirmation before using. So it seems like a cool, like, I'm gonna fucking die. Um, a stand will not automatically be used. There we go. That way, if I need it, I can use it, but it's not gonna go off for no fucking reason, which is what it's been doing so far. Very cool. Some cool new level loot. There's really no reason to be in here. Uh, energy regeneration 128. Which normal inventory. None of these are going to be better, I would imagine. Wait. I'm at Coral Spray Shield. I mean, that's a better shield in most ways, actually. Iron Shield of Fire Resistance, Iron Gauntlets. So it gets rid of the fatigue thing. Where these increase my power, these do not. Covering corrosion. Covering of power. I'll keep what I have. <clears throat> Letter to Wiseman 3, the tentacles, I still remember them. It flashed into my mind. It lashed onto my flesh. How can nature abide by such a being in her realm? What dark plane of existence could it be born from? How can creation itself tolerate such an aberration? How did we survive? I have no clue. All I can remember is pain and panic and fear. All I could think of is getting away, fleeing to my shame. All my other thoughts left me. Thoughts of you, home, the world. 
All I could do was keep keep hacking away at the thing between myself and freedom. Perhaps that's why it didn't know. I shall not think of it. The beast is certain is certain to fill my nightmares tonight. I won't allow it to fill my waking thoughts. But it's easy, brother. It may have taken your eye. But think of what else it could have taken away. Anyway, I shall be leaving for the tavern soon. Maybe I can drown the images of that monster in a sea of ale. Make sure to write your words in your next letter nice and big, Rolf. Okay. Very cool. Letter to a guy's brother. Um, we're going to go ahead and... What was I going to do? Something I was going to... Oh, yeah. I'm going to mute myself and take a drink really quick. So just one moment. Okay, not only did I, not only, sorry, that might have popped again, um, I accidentally bumped the button twice, um, not only did I finish the drink I had, but I also prepped another one, because at this rate, I'm going to be playing this game for quite a while, so, luckily, I guess, you know, my first run is a pretty good one, so that's cool. It's a pretty nifty one. We can... Oh, wait. It, did they fucking... I still have my shield. It's just not usable right now? Interesting. Okay, well, we'll do this. And try to maybe bash somebody. Get our infusion going. Try to get some kind of. Let's do this. Let's, wait. Disable talent confirmation. Let's use it. Because we are absolutely fucking surrounded, and I would rather not die. We've still got. How long does that last? Use mode sustained. Okay. So you just turn it off when you're done, basically. Okay. Deactivate last stand and then it. Okay. That seems like cheating. It literally just means you can't fucking die. As long as you can. Oh, you only die of reaching negative 92. Okay. So it's not infinite life. It's just a lot of. Okay. Very cool. Alright. There's the way down to the next floor. Place is infested. I found lots of skeletons now, and unfortunately most of them have borne a full set of limbs. However, my holy quest cannot be denied. Plus I got a really great sword off one of the blighters. I can chop anything up easily now. Skeletal mages, skeletal mages have been a nightborn nuisance, but I found a new weapon to use against them. A phase door round. As soon as I catch sight of one of the rogue wretches, I activate my room and foop, I'm away. It's not fleeing, it's just tactical repositioning. Who is messaging me? Oh, I just got a message from... Okay, cool. Heat neat, okay. Let's kill the ant. Oh, stop tactically repositioning on me, you motherfucker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, Rolf the Ant Slayer. Such trials you've overcome. Forget demons and dragons. Dragons and demons, rather. Here we have a hero who survived against ants. I shall deliver the joyous news to last hope with all haste. Perhaps it shall be a parade in your honor. I hope you registered the sarcasm in my previous words, as I cannot, as I obviously cannot expect much from one who struggles with insects. Allow me to share with you the knowledge of the beast rather more fitting of a true adventurer to behold. My travels have taken me south, and as I walked one night along the abandoned mountain pass, imagining what treasures and trials the next day may bring, brilliant light filled my vision. I stood in its radiance, the land around me illuminated so that I almost appeared to be in a broad daylight, and that's when I saw it. Such a magnificent sight, with wings of fire, leaving the air itself hissing and smoldering in its wake. 
You could blame me watching. Rapt amazement as it, alight, as it alighted a rocky outcrop mere yards away from me. The stone beneath its talon, the warping from the tremendous heat. It was at that moment, Rolf, that I realized that, I, that this is what being an adventurer was all about. There's always more in this world of ours to amaze and astonish us. Learn from my experiences, Wiseman. So, I imagine he found a dragon? Of some kind, perhaps? Something of the sort, anyways. Maybe perhaps a wyvern, wyvern, however you pronounce it. Okay, okay, okay. When the farmer told me that this place was called, it reminded me of something. Corporal. Corporal? My mother used to tell me about our ancestors, how they fled to a ship, or by ship, to escape the grasp of an evil sorcerer who dominated the lands. The sorcerer was a vile necromancer who took advantage of the destruction from the spellblaze and the cataclysm to clear, create huge armies of undead. People fought back against him time and time again, and though he was defeated, he would still come back, sometimes after a hundred years. The sorcerer's name was Corpul. Probably just a coincidence. Stop shooting me, you motherfucker. So, if I gather, if if I understand correctly, I'm gonna just open all the doors in the zone. Um, if I understand correctly, basically, uh, that that one guy found a dragon of some sort, um, and the I don't know if it's a guy or a gal who was sent down here for you know the corpool uh, messages. But I imagine they found some sort of, um, uh, I don't know, I, they were told stories of a mage growing up, kind of this necromancer motherfucker who terrorized the land, and this place is named after him. So whoever that person was, male, female, or other, um, they are hoping, it's just a coincidence, that this isn't his crypt or something of that sort. Something of that, if that makes sense. Probably not, but maybe, maybe a little bit. Sure, I'll open the chest. It left me with a mace that I, or a quiver of arrows that I don't care about. Got it. And this, I mean, obviously this dungeon is for level ones, but it's quite easy. Uh, stop at a door, okay. Door. Defeat the man, open the door. It's quiet down here and dark, very dark. I suppose I should have brought a lantern. Our motto is to bring light into dark places, but I guess I should have thought about that in practical terms. Cleared out pretty much all of this area, but there's not much left to explore beyond this last room. This adventuring stuff is quite lonely, I must say. I, I guess keeping this journal helps a bit. I miss home a lot now. I miss, I miss Falia. Maybe I should have said something to her about how I feel, but I guess running away on an adventure seemed easier. Puh, how brave of me. I'm not cut out for this paladin work. Here I am, alone in a horrible dark dungeon in an unknown land, without a single sound to keep me company beyond the scratchings of my own quill. Hmm. Except for... Oh? What gives? Who's left? Except for what? Except for what? Except for what? Did he find the fucking mage dude? That mother- the possessed. Okay, I love that sprite. Can we just take a second and look at that motherfucker? He looks so cool. Look at that guy. He looks tight. I'm gonna go ahead and use the last stand here on this guy. Maybe I don't need to, but I'm gonna. Oh, oh, he just teleported. Shit, I thought he was dead. Steel-plated whip arcs with an intense electricity. The force feels uncomfortable, explosive, or uncontrollable, explosive, and powerful. So we can boost our strength a little more, more constitution. Uh, I'm not gonna do any dagger mastery. We will max out our vitality perk. Um, we'll go ahead and put another point into... Uh, actually, we'll go ahead and do the repose thing. 
Because shield slam seems like something that we want to work towards eventually. Get some more offense with our shield since our whole class is based around our shield power, essentially. Okay, now where is that new ability I just learned? Didn't I just learn... Is that a passive talent? Proves the ability of performing counter threat after blocks. Okay, so it just... It's just a... Okay, I gotcha. There's no more left to explore, so we'll just go ahead and we'll use our magic here. Iron Battle Axe. Uh, blazing Quiver of Elms. Uh, okay. Thick pair of rough leather boots. Um, that is just better. Storm Lash. Um, Iron Battle Act, Copper Ring, uh, Runes of the Warrior. Activate the room, instantly dissipate energy, so it dissipates all that. Blocking 72 damage, the defense is cleansed. Mm, no, I think I'm good. Go ahead and go into Trollmire, I guess. Zone is far too easy for you. Sure. That's why I'm here. So Trollmire is where the humans start. If you start as a human character, this is where you kind of start your game is Trollmire, which I kind of hate because it's, you know, being a forest, it's wide open and there's a million trees everywhere and it makes it hard to navigate because, like, even if you're using a mouse, if, like, you almost, well, in most instances, okay, I've defeated Mighty Girdle. The girdle is enchanted by Mighty Wars against expanding girth. However, the source of its wondrous strength will provide greater aid. Transport of Awkward Burdenness. This vile blood was drawn from an ancient race in the Age of Haze. Some of the power and vitality of those early days still flows through it. Drink me, mortals. The red liquid seems to whisper in your thoughts. I'll bring you light beyond darkness. Those who taste my essence fear not the death of flesh. These gloves seem to be made out of exoskeleton of righteous and are hot to the touch. I know. The way to the treasure is to the east, but beware death probably awaits. So, Blood of Life can be used to cloth the Blood of Life to grant an extra life. Sure. Blood Covered Iron Dagger. Mighty Girdle, some kind of a belt. It's just better. The Flame Rock Gloves. I kind of want to keep those just because they look sick. Flame spit. So they're less effective as gloves, but they give you the ability to throw flame. Is that what I'm gathering here? So you can you can throw flames with them. Okay, interesting. But as gloves, they're crap. So, okay, so basically you drink lifeblood and it gives you an extra life, and we could put our, so those are, mm. okay, so. These are better, I think, overall, as far as armor goes. Also, I should probably dump my inventory at some point. I mean, I don't need to, but I don't know. It just seems like something to do. Let's see if I can maybe make some pro so. To the east, so I need to go this way. 
Oily Seal, Mighty Troll. We can go ahead and get rid of all these. I mean, if this Mighty Troll is anything like this other Mighty Troll, then I am not concerned in the slightest. Because I am very much over leveled for the area. Um, and see, so yeah, I can just do this. A quick hop, skip, and a jump away. Hidden treasure completed. Got it. Prismatic runes. Um, cool. So I got another prismatic spell of sorts. Got more treasure. And again, this is what this is the end of the tutorial for human players. So. If I'm being honest, it's not something I was ever really concerned would um, activate to create a personal shield that blocks several instances of damage. Miner's pair of iron boots. Go ahead and wear those. We do have a quite a bit of gold, so it's probably time to maybe go to a town and either sell some stuff or buy some stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sell everything I've got except that. I need to make sure I keep that and that. So I want to get rid of those. Get rid of that, get rid of that, 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 keep that, I'll get rid of the tome, I'll get rid of those, get rid of all of these, because I don't see a reason to keep those on me, and let's go ahead and see, that's the alchemist guy, you need water breathing for that to be of any use, our leather cap, um, impenetrable armor, it's nothing good here, okay. Um, this guy deals with swords, could be cool, maybe he has something worth my time. Great sword, it doesn't look like, do we have a shield guy? No. This guy lets you start one of the DLCs. So it's good to remember where he is. Okay, so now we need to find another higher level zone, I guess. Oops, I don't want to fight adventurers. They are actually much stronger than minimum level 15. I'm not going to risk that. That's for elves, I believe. Yeah. Oops. Again, try not to run into adventures if I can help it. Oh, shit. Uh, this is another breed of elf, I believe. The other type of elf, I, if I remember right. Mysterious Hole in the Beach. Sure. Oh good, sandworms. Got him. Wait. Invulnerable. Sandworms that cannot be hurt. I stared at the mouths of crimson worms. I felt the claws of Drake so sleek. But through the deserts dry. But through deserts dry and sandy storms, one thing I seek. The tail of giant worms I walk. Through tunnels of sands below, the arcane tools. Let there be no talk of the wormic path I go. You may not auto-explore this level. Interesting. Oh, is it because these motherfuckers are digging it out as we speak? So you kind of pick one and follow them, because... Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the name of God is that? It's not very strong, whatever it is, but 
Well, I don't want to say that. It did a number. It just wasn't quite enough. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we'll go ahead and head bash. Stun one of you and get our infusion going and try to just focus down you guys. Um, oh god, oh good, um, well, okay, um, are you fucking, shit, okay, heal up, follow the worm, so you just have to follow the fucking worms. Got it. Can I get out of here? Can I just go deeper right now? Um, none of these are. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a two handed weapon. Of course it is. What is this? A large helmet that can protect your entire head. Yep. Okay. Wait, isn't that... So basically, just follow a worm and hope it leads you to something. That way you don't suffocate. Got it. Hmm. Kind of annoying that I can't like pick my own path a little bit here. I've got to just stick on this worm. Maybe eventually he'll lead me somewhere. Oh my god, can any of you lead me anywhere useful? Okay, so just keep following the worm. They're really good at leading me back here. I'm being honest, I'm not a fan of the RNG dungeon. Ooh. Whew, that was close. I could have died. Um, come on. Lead me somewhere cool, please. Mr. Worm. Come on. At least, okay. Necromancer, save from a cop. Cask burns. Darkness falls, but life returns. Flesh may fail and bone may burn. The soul remains, for which we yearn. Okay, basically it's a poem about necromancy. Very cool. Follow the worm. At least 
the worm eventually brought us somewhere. That's something. I guess. No. Hmm, I'm gonna just focus on the worm. I'll get the lore skull maybe later. I'd rather not die because I read a message. I don't know how long the difference is between I don't know, the worms doing something and the tunnel collapsing. It seems like it's quite a bit, so there might be more time than I gave it credit. What is this? A magical prop, okay. Yep. Steel mail armor. 179 damage. I'll look at it. Um, I don't think that's any better, but I will take a look. I do believe, too, that there is a certain radius around the start that is always kind of free to use. Um, rather that, um, you know, I guess isn't going to get me killed by looking at it. Care. I'll look at it later. Um, I gotta. Where did he go? Where did my little friend go? Okay, gotta stick with the worm. Gotta stick with the worm. Again, I'll read that lore thing later. Um, but I have to stay by a worm because I need to not suffocate. Again, there does seem to be kind of a radius around. Certain objects and creatures that it seems to be okay. I would just much rather not. Come on. Okay. Stick with the worm. Stick with the worm. He's leading me in circles. Stick with the worm. Just try and stick by the worm. It's a little, again, it's kind of tedious sticking with the worm on all this. I kind of wish there was a little bit of a way to maybe direct the worm. And maybe there is. Maybe I just don't know enough. Why have I been blinded? Oh. Shit, no, 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 no. Okay, blink out. Uh, okay, okay. Fire, oh shit. Let me, okay, worm, got it, okay, cool. Um, Gotta stick with the worm as much as possible.
Sorry about that. Somebody came into my room. And I figured I would do the polite thing and not have a conversation on stream. The worm is up here. Got it. Shit. Please, no. Oh my god, okay. Luckily, I drank that, uh, oh, poison from, oh, no, it wasn't the fact that I was suffocating. It was, thank you, send me back, but somewhere else, because I don't think I will survive the worm pit. Turning the city, a prick jersey side, huge dark cloud over the small town. We entered to agreed by an army of elementals. Was I? What? Oh. News to me. Steel Tower and Battle Axe is two handed. Gladiator Steel Ring. Uh, Great Mall. Cleansing Golden Amulet. Eh, get rid of it. You arrive in Dirt and there's a huge dark cloud. You hear screams coming from Town Square. Whoa, holy shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking die. Holy shit. Wow, okay. Again, I wish there was a way to tell how much... Like, oh fuck, I should have done... Um, that's crazy. Again, I wish I knew how much life I had left. Like, I wish there was a way to tell. I don't know, like how many extra lives I still had going for me. Looks like a decently sized town. What the hell is this? Please be quick, my time is precious. Okay, jackass. Got it. Okay, so this is like the big town. Got it. A library. Other alchemists, daggers, maces. Special breathing method or Have I been here already? I feel like I've been here already. So that is your target with your shield three times for 16 meters in the blocked position. 
Interesting. Okay, do we have another minimum level 15? I'm 14. Somehow as magic user, I'm not even allowed to try. Interesting. So I didn't consider what I'm doing to be magic. Sure, there's a little bit of magic involved maybe, but would not consider myself a magic user. Go ahead in here and see what's see what's in the hidden compound. Okay. You found the slaver's compound and entered it. Okay. Sure. Okay, so we can rest then for a second and zoom around until we find another one of these. Try to save as many of these guys as we can. For some reason I can't move. And it seems to me, okay. What? You've died. Resurrect with blood of life. Why is this motherfucker so strong? Oh, he's level 16. Okay. We'll do that, and we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this. We'll turn off the last stand thing, and we'll go kill this guy. Ouch. I always feel bad killing those dudes. Okay, well luckily we did have the blood of life thing. So that's something. Um, so we survived longer than we should have, which is what I have gathered. Because of that blood of life thing. Setting, okay, turn the modification chest. Mm, okay, none of that's any better. What does that totem do? Ash totem of stinging. Uh, actually, no, um, wait. 198. over seven turns. Oh, let's wear that instead, actually. Oh, we have both, okay. Neat. We can do that. I keep forgetting I have any kind of ranged option. Uh, we can, oops, oops, oops. We'll start healing a little bit. We'll do that and we will do that. Maybe be intimidating a little bit. Oh God, oh shit. Can I get past him? Is the motherfucking dude here? Oh God, oh no, oh no. Heal, heal, last stand, uh, try and stun this dude, get him with a shield bash, maybe. Um, stop running, you fucking coward. Okay. 
that hurt, but it worked, so. Whoa, 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 okay. Um, let's do these and um, mm, this, maybe. Can I hit you with a zap and hit you with a fireball and then hit you? This is bad. This is not great. Um, okay. That's fine. Get some kind of a healing going on. And get rid of the slavers. This is not going super well. Luckily, oh god. I'm glad we have the lifeblood. I'll leave it at that. Steel maze. Um, oh, okay. Oh god. one of those do I actually equip? The evasive one. So this can just get my hot key bar and we can just do this. Oh, he doesn't allow that. Okay. We'll do that then. Skull bash him. We'll do this. We will try to stun him. If we can get him stunned, maybe get a critical plot. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, hostile Bloodmaster spotted north. Where? Uh, sure. What? Oh, whoa, 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 what? Slave combatant. Interesting. Not whoa. Come back, you fucking loser. So we can uh, do this. Come back here, you fucking coward. What? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Got it. Do I have a magical? A hidden trap door. Sure. Carefully open the trap door. Notice the trap door has no visible handle on the inside. You're stuck here. Interesting. I'm amazed we've survived as long as we have, if I'm being honest. Like, I was expecting to have died long ago. Also, because I forgot we had extra lives to begin with, so he, that as well, but... Go to the next level. Hmm. 
Big old steel gloves. Thank you, motherfucker. Come back. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Do you know anything? Hmm, okay, so we'll do... Do the repulsion, get myself some breathing room here. Take them out more one at a time. Exit to the little map. Very cool. Okay, we did it. Anything worth keeping? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Rescue of the lost. Okay, so trapped. Uh, only okay. We found we we beaten. Rescue the merchant from the assassin lord, and we got another level up. And didn't I? Okay, we did. Okay. Strength will do more. Uh, constitution. Did ourselves a weapon mastery skill. Oh, we don't have any generics. Okay. Do an assault and we'll do another uh we'll do another repulsion because I've been using that a lot. Um and that'll be that. Yes. Okay, very cool. Alright, and with that, level 15 over two and a half almost two and a half hours i think we're gonna go ahead and call it here for today or tonight whatever you want to call it um just i don't know i feel like it's been a good long run um so far i mean it's not done yet we're we still are alive um you know we're not dead yet but um you know, I mean, that could change very quickly, as you saw, you know, feeling pretty good, and then all of a sudden I'm dead. Um, I can't find a way back towards the dwarf homeland. I found all the other ones. Cannot seem to find the one for the dwarves. Hey, it's up. There it is. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, almost two and a half hours, we got 15 levels. We're still not dead somehow. Um, you know, because of that, like, we're on our last life, but I feel like, you know, it's a good place to stop, even if the run ends in two minutes, which, if that's the case, I won't even post it. Um, I think it was a good, solid run thus far, and, uh, I think it would be a good place to just call it for the night. Plus, it's 10.30, and I have work in the morning, so I think we're gonna end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and, uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.